For this lesson, we are going to subtract whole numbers. Some vocabulary. First off, we have minuend. Minuend is the first number in a subtraction sentence from which a second number is to be subtracted. And our second vocabulary word is subtrahend. It is the number that is subtracted. So if we have a basic problem, 4 subtract 3 equals 1. The first number in our subtraction sentence is the 4, so that's the minuend. It's the total amount that we have. And then the number that is subtracted, the 3, is our subtrahend. It's how many we're taking away from the amount that we have. So if I have my first example, 7,235, subtract 638. It's always important we keep things lined up with our ones, our tens, hundreds, thousands. We don't want to accidentally put our 600 under our 7,000 because that would give us the wrong answer and it wouldn't be lined up. So here we go. We start with our ones. I have five ones, subtract eight. Which I can't do. If I only have five, I can't give away eight. So we can borrow from its neighbor. Its neighbor has three tens. So we're going to give away one of its tens. So now it has two. And if it gave us a ten, and we already had five ones, we now have fifteen ones. So fifteen subtract eight, I can now do, which is seven. Next, we subtract the tens. So we have two tens, subtract three. Once again, if we only have two, we can't get rid of three. So we're going to borrow from our neighbor. So they had two hundreds. Now they have one, because they gave us one. One hundred will equal ten tens. And we had two already, so now we have twelve tens. Twelve subtract three is nine. Now we subtract our hundreds. One hundred subtract six hundreds. Can't do again. We gotta borrow. Luckily we have such nice neighbors. So our seven's gonna give us one of its thousands, which turns into ten hundreds. Plus we had one, so we have eleven. So eleven hundreds subtract six hundreds is five hundreds. Then we subtract our thousands, six hundreds. Thousand subtract zero thousands is six thousand. We always want to check our work. In our last lesson, we used rounding to see if our answer was reasonable, if our estimate was close to our answer. We knew it was probably reasonable. A more accurate way that works good with subtraction is using addition to check your work although you can still use rounding. So what you do is you take your difference, and now we put it on top. So you're flipping everything around. So addition and subtraction are inverse operations, so we can switch them around. So I have 6,597. Instead of subtracting, now I'm going to add. So I subtracted 638 before, now I'm going to add that 638. And then I'm going to find my sum. 7 plus 8 is 15. 1 plus 9 plus 3 is 13. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12. 1 plus 6 is 7. Now you'll notice that our sum is the same number as our menuend, 7,235. So if you get the same answer, you know you must have done it right. So here's my second example. 6,000. Subtract, then use addition or estimation to check. So we start with our 1's. 4 subtract 6. I need to borrow, because I don't have enough. 
So now we have 110, and they gave us a 10, plus the 4 we already had, so we have 14. 14 subtract 6 is 8. Now we move on to our 10s. 1 subtract 9. Again, I need to borrow. So they give us one of theirs. So now they have 400, which gives us 10 more. 10s plus the one we had. 11 subtract 9 is 2. Now we subtract our hundreds. Again, we need to borrow. So that 8 becomes a 7. We get 10 more hundreds. We already have 4. So we have 14. 14 subtract 5 is 9. Then we subtract our thousands. 7,000 subtract 7,000 is 0. We don't really need to write that 0 down. So 928 is our difference. Now I need to check that. So I'm going to put my difference up top. 928. And then instead of subtracting, I'm going to add this 7,596. 8 plus 6 is 14. 1 plus 2 plus 9 is 12. 1 plus 9 plus 5 is 15. 1 plus 7 is 8. If I got the same answer as my menu end, I know that my work was right. And so I could move on to my next problem. So now it's your turn. Here are two problems you're going to do for practice, and then you'll have two more at the end. So 918 subtract 375, and then 9764 subtract 3265. Go ahead and pause, and then check your work when you're done. Okay, first problem. 8 subtract 5 is 3. 1 subtract 7, we need to borrow. Which gives us now 11 tens. 11 subtract 7 is 4. And then 8 subtract 3 is 5. We can check our work. So we add this together, we get 918. Which is what we needed to get. You also can estimate, I'm not going to show the estimation on here, but that's okay as well. Second practice problem, we can't do 4 subtract 5, so we borrow, which gives us 14 subtract 5, which is 9, 5 subtract 6, we need to borrow, which gives us 15 subtract 6, which is 9. 6 subtract 2 is 4, 9 subtract 3 is 6, so 6,499 is our difference. Check my work, and I get 9,764. So I'm ready to move on, and so are you. So here are your two problems you'll bring in tomorrow. Same instructions, subtract, use addition, or estimation to check. So problem number one is 8,765, subtract 4,567. And problem number two is 9,753, subtract 2,468. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day.